Hi, this is Mark Chan. I want to tell you about my new book, Creative Wedding Album Design with Adobe Photoshop. I am a photographer and an Adobe Certified Instructor. Either one of these two will make an interesting career, but I combine them to make it more exciting. I put together my Photoshop skill and photographic artistry to make these creative wedding albums possible. My albums have become the artistic testimony of the precious memories of hundreds of brides and grooms. The making of these creative wedding albums is the topic of my newest book, Creative Wedding Album Design with Adobe Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to show you what you will learn from my book. I am a believer in learning through using. So in my book, real examples were demonstrated in details. Readers can follow them by first downloading example files from the publisher Amherst Media's website. Let me show you an example in the book. Faces on a Cake, an all-time favorite. One of the important techniques in making this montage possible is the salt brush technique. This term is coined by Sincerely Yours, me. Let me demo that technique here. We have the cake image placed in a canvas. So now let me turn on the visibility of the face layer, which I have transformed to the right size and perspective. Now our task is to create a very soft dropout around this face image. So the edges will be totally invisible and it will blend seamlessly to the cake. To do that, we will start by giving the face layer a black mask. You might add a white mask by clicking this icon at the bottom of the layer palette and fill it with black ink. But there's a better way to do it. First, make sure the layer is selected. Then press and hold all key or option key if you use Mac, like I do. Then click on the add layer mask icon. Again, at the bottom of the layers palette. You see, a black mask is now attached to the face layer and the faces disappears. The next step is the hardcore of the soft brush technique. Get it? The hardcore of the soft brush technique. First, pick up the pen brush tool by pressing B. Use shift left bracket to adjust the hardness of the brush all the way to the softest, as you can see from this symbol here. Now use right bracket and left bracket to adjust the size of the brush, so the circle of the brush cursor is a little smaller than the faces. Now go to the tool option bar and bring the opacity of ink to 70%. Now look at the bottom of the toolbar. Make sure the foreground color is white, which means the brush will paint white. If it is not white, use X key to swap between the foreground color and the background color. Now place the brush to the area where the faces should be and give it a few brief clicks, like this. Keep it brief so the 70% ink would not accumulate. Remember, this is just like a spray gun. Now that you see the faces have emerged with nice soft brush dropout, we want to make sure the facial features are in full contrast. In another word, we want the mask in the center area of the faces to be pure white. To do this, reduce the size of the brush by hitting left bracket a few times. Now click a few more times on the faces. You will see that the facial features are now in full contrast. Have a look at the mask. You can do that by alt click the mask or option click the mask if you are a Mac user. You see the mask goes from the total black surroundings 
to the pure white centers in a very gradual change, thanks to my soft brush technique. In order to complete this project, we also need to apply layer blend mode so the texture of the cake is preserved on the faces. This and the perspective transform mentioned earlier are the other two techniques I cover in the book. When you are done, the montage will look like this. Isn't that fantastic? Creative Wedding Album Design with Adobe Photoshop is available on Amazon.com and other major bookstores. If you'd like to order an autographed copy, you can visit my website at www.markchinphotography.com and click on the link to purchase the book. Have fun photoshopping!